Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. This is an exciting time of the year for me. I get the chance to compare new technology versus the older technology. So Cobra has just come out with the new Cobra King Red Speed Driver. Uh, the Cobra King Speed Zone Driver was very successful for Cobra in 2020. I actually almost played this particular driver myself. Very, very impressed with how well the Speed Zone performed in 2020. The Cobra King Rad Speed Driver is no doubt going to perform very well in 2021 and going forward from now. So I'm excited to test and compare, and compare these two drivers. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to hit 10 shots with each driver, both with the weight forward in the forward in the head. So the heavy weight is going to be on the forward, the lighter weight is going to be in the heel. So in the lower spinning position, as a high speed player, I need to have a little lower spin there as well. So first thing we can talk about when we compare about these two models, looking at them. First thing I noticed when I look down at them is you can see kind of like they're, they're I guess they're kind of like turbulators, kind of like ping on the, on the top here. What I notice is with the new Rad driver, they're quite a bit closer together. So you can see them a little bit more, a uh, little bit smaller and a little bit closer together, where the uh, King Speed Zone driver, they're a little bit more wider apart. So it's kind of interesting. I can feel, feel them a little bit more with the Speed Zone driver where with the, uh, the red speed driver, don't quite feel them as much. So the first thing I notice at appearance looking down at the club there, the other thing that also stands out to me is the Cobra logo on top of the club. So with the red driver, the Cobra no longer has a little box around it where, and it's a little bit more large, a little bit larger, where the King Speed Zone driver is Looks like it's just a little bit smaller. It's got that box around the seat there as well. Both drivers still have the infinity face. You can see how they, they both wrap around the crown very, very nicely. They look awesome here, um, the way that they're, they're shaped there. The shape looks very, very similar looking at a dress. Uh, both compact 466cc club heads there as well. There's a couple of new things with the Cobra Rad driver. The first thing that I do notice, and this is important to note as a club fitter, is the weight, talking about moving the weights around. So right now with the Cobra Rad Speed driver, the radial weight, they have about 28 grams positioned forward. And then 16 grams of that is fixed, where 12 grams is adjustable weight. With the Cobra King Speed Zone driver, 14 grams used to have been moved back in front there a little bit. So a little bit less weight can be moved, but a little bit more weight forward with the driver there too. And that should generate maybe a little bit more ball speed, a little bit lower spinning with the Cobra Rad Speed across the face there as well. But it's pretty well balanced across the face. They have weight in the back and in the front there too. But with the, the Rad Speed driver, they have the radial weight on, on, all the way to the forward side of the driver where they actually have two other models that have come out. We've got the Red Speed, we've got the X, um, XD, and then the XB. So extra weight in the back and extra draw weight with those two models there too. But specifically we're comparing the Red Speed driver there as well. Um, the thin fly carbon crown, it is just a little bit thinner, I believe carbon Cobra says is about 30% thinner, which allows them to redistribute about six grams of weight to other areas of the driver. And then the chassis with the driver also has a little bit um, changed in design. So it's got seven grams lighter so they can redistribute the weight around with, with the driver too. But both look pretty similar looking down at, as I mentioned, I love the look of this driver. It performed really, really well in 2020, 2020 the speed zone driver did. I'm excited to test numbers, compare the two differences between these two models here as well. So for today's test, what we're going to do is we're going to hit 10 shots with each model. I do have the Matori F1 driver shaft. This is the new stock shaft that comes with the Cobra Rad Speed um, driver. Uh, so I'm going to put the shaft in both heads. So this is a pretty unbiased shot, unbiased test. And I'm going to test with the Pro One X Golf Pool there as well. So 
stay tuned as we test both models. If you haven't done so also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and give us some comments and, and really appreciate your feedback. So let's get after and taste it, take a look at some numbers with the two drivers. It seemed to me that the numbers were pretty similar across the board with both the Rad Speed and the King Speed Zone drivers. I may not expect to see a massive difference in one generation of drivers, but let's take a look at numbers and take a look and see what the numbers tell us. So first thing is I hit 10 shots with each driver. I'm going to take out the one miss hit with each, so this is the best nine with regards to data. So the club speed was almost identical. That's the reason why I hit five shots originally, hit five, then hit five more, then hit five more. It's gonna to want to keep this as unbiased as possible. So 111.3 and 111.7. So very, very marginal differences there. Not enough to say, hey, one driver is more aerodynamic than the other. Um, bull speed was just a little bit faster with the Cobra rad speed by 0.3 miles an hour, uh, 166.1, 165.8. The smash factor number 149 with both models. Uh, the launch angle at 13.6 and 13.5. And the spin rate between the two models were, we're, we're talking, we're talking within 10 RPMs for nine shots with each driver. So almost identical with regards to spin. The Rad Speed spun nine RPMs less than the Cobra King Speed Zone. Uh, carry. This is this, this is crazy across the board that the numbers are almost identical between each driver. The carry distance. 289.3, 289.4, going 318 or 317.8. So, I mean, right across the board here, it's amazing how similar the Cobra King Speed Zone driver is and the Cobra Red Speed driver is here. Talking height, 107 feet in the air, 106 feet in the air. Um, I'm always interested to look at my attack angle to see how that consistent that was across the board. My attack angle was 4.6 up with both drivers. So dynamic lock was the exact same with both drivers. So this is about as good a test as you're going to get comparing the two models. Um, dispersion. So let's take a look at the dispersion pattern. We will notice that the Cobra King Rad, we have six yellow circles kind of over on the, on the left hand side, and three out to the, to the right side. So we'll notice now it's Pretty hard to, to really completely say hey, the Cobra King Rad driver flew a little bit straighter, but you'll notice the consistency with regards to those yellow circles being a little bit closer together, as opposed to the white circles with the Cobra King speed. They were separated by about the same distance across the board. So I would give the uh, Cobra K Rad speed a little bit more, yeah, just a little bit better. Uh, with regards to dispersion pattern, knowing that I like to hit a little bit of a drawer 
it's interesting that I had a little bit more of a shot shape of a drawer with the Rad Speed as opposed to the Cobra King Speed Zone, which just flew pretty straight overall. So we're talking really pretty, and we're talking that the numbers were basically identical between the, the two drivers with regards to, to numbers, one generation difference, not gonna notice really too much at all. So really interesting test. Now keep in mind, I'm a very, very consistent player. I want to just take a look here and see where I was catching it on the club face with these drivers. Um, so if we look here, the King Speed Zone, slightly, if anything, slightly high toll. Uh, that could be partially the reason for the uh, the low, the slightly lower spin at about eighteen hundred. Um, yes, if anything, I was just hatching a slightly high toll with each driver. Um, across the board here. So we're talking, yeah, numbers were very, very similar between the two models. Um, the Cobra King Speed Zone is going to save you a little bit of money if you're looking at a used product, um, where the Cobra Rad Speed, the latest and greatest, may just give you just a, a tad more forgiveness the way they've repositioned the weight with the driver with their new technology changes with regards to the crown and the chassis making it a little bit lighter there as well but i'm not surprised uh the cobra king speed zone was a very very good performing driver for me in 2020 in driver tests basically was right up there with and i actually almost played the cobra king speed zone uh it was that good so i'm not surprised that it's performed very very well against the cobra red speed driver so if you notice a difference with your driver compared to newer technology whether that be the cobra king speed zone or the cobra rad speed keep in mind that we do take trades at second swing second swing stores or online at secondswing.com you can find uh, the trade values of all equipment on our website at secondswing.com uh, thanks for watching the content today. We've got plenty more coming your way in the future. Thanks. Bye.